In this video, we will learn about Drupal optimization. Optimization techniques are quite essential to improve the loading type of a website and it also improves the performance. So let us now work upon some points which we can focus on to increase the performance of, of our website. So let's go for it. Here you can see the first one is high quality content. Always write high quality content which is quite full of keywords and also remember that do not copy content from any website. The next point is optimize images. Im images should be used, high quality images can be used but it should be optimized, it should be of lesser size. Here you can see the next point is images name. Always remember writing the image name like the first one is incorrect and the second one is correct because in the second one you can easily find keywords. If you are creating an article on Java architecture or on Java and if the image is about architecture so you can straight away write Java architecture the name of the image file with any extension. The next point is theme optimization. Always remember go for optimization techniques under theme also. Always go for high quality images but the size should not be as large that would increase the size of the website. Also remember then you can only go for optimization techniques with the themes also. For that go to drupal.org and search for themes that are compatible with the current version. That is the current version right now is 8.2.5 so you can select 8.x themes there and that would be great and you can also check the most installed as well as the reviews of the theme so that it is optimized. The next one is avoid outdated modules. Always remember if a module is outdated is not working with the current version it can create issues. So if you are going for the current version always go to the filter for on the official website and go for modules which support your current theme and current Drupal version. The next one is permalinks in keyword. Always remember if you are creating an article it would be having a link also that link should have keywords in it. If you remember we created install java an article in which we install java we have shown how to install java as a domain content in that the link is install java. So it's a good practice and always try to keep the link as short as possible. The last one is performance. So let's go through the website and see where are the performance heading. For that click on the website. Here you can see the website is visible now. This was our content learn how to install java with the link install java show we have also kept keyword under the link. So now we will see how we can optimize our website under the settings. Here you can see go to configuration. On the settings you can see different sub menus are visible. Under that click on development. Now you can see performance. Click on it. Now you can see some settings are visible. Here you can clear the cache. It's, a, it's quite a good practice to clear cache to improve the performance. So you can click on clear all caches. Here you can set the maximum age of the cache. Keep it as default right now. Here you can see no caching because we, are, we aren't setting any minutes here. Keep it as default. Here you can see the bad bandwidth optimization technique. It means that if you are having large CSS files or JS files, you can easily aggregate it. Aggregation means it will optimize it. It will reduce the size of the CSS and JavaScript file, which will decrease the size of your website. For that, now click on save configuration after doing all the changes. Here you can see the settings have been saved. So in this video we saw how we can work upon the optimization techniques in Drupal. Here we also saw that how we can go to the performance settings on a Drupal website to do some changes like clearing cache and aggregating JSON CSS file. Thank you for watching.